Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to another edition of Transformer Facts Friday. This is the second weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel which gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with things that I found going on in the world of Transformers. I'll let you know what's happening with this channel and the reviews I've got coming up and of course things what's going on with my Instagram which is toys underscore R Russ. So yep, this is another news thing but this one's got quite a bit more detail. It's not just one figure even though a couple of them funnily enough we have seen. Um, I've got me notes, I've got my iPad and yeah let's get started so first things first this is this a tease i don't know i already put on the what's happening wednesday obviously people have been really examining the packaging for metroplex and obviously we think that we've obviously got inferno on it but if you look just above his head as well on the box so this is on the actual packaging for metroplex is that is that a tease uh, maybe a titan class nemesis coming up who knows i mean i'm sure that we would all love that but that is definitely on the packaging and i know that for quite some time now hasbro have been putting little teases in with regards to the titans packaging haven't they so that's fingers crossed who knows that's just again some eagle-eyed observer and loads of people are talking about it all over social media right again this i gave a quick video on the other day about uh the new movie masterpiece figure blackout um and yes i just showed you pictures like this but i know people have really gone mad for this um i've had quite a few views on that loads of questions asked and basically i'm just going to direct you to this which as you can see if you go onto tfw 2005 there's a full video from the designers and everything there there's a full video on it and it's from uh, Hasbro China via their Weibo account so if you go onto T-Formers or if you just go for Hasbro China via Weibo you can see a full video um, and it, it looks stunning to be honest it really does look very good in fact there's lots of good movie things coming up at the moment again everybody's tastes are completely acquired for it's crazy right this is just a list again but this is an interesting list so this isn't um i'll pause it on there in a second for you so this isn't a you know it might be happening it might not be happening this is again this is some figures that have rocked up this makes me laugh because i'm sure things are supposed to be kept confidential so these are figures that have literally arrived in port on the shores of the united states and these are all my, um, rise of the beasts figures so these obviously I don't know how much early we're going to get them, at least a year early, maybe before the film comes out. So we know that there's some Power Alliance weaponizers. There's 600 pieces of them that have shored up. They arrived on the 13th of April. This just makes me laugh because it's, I'm, again, I'm sure things like this are supposed to be kept confidential. Power Battlers, there's a huge, there's an assortment of them. There's 1,400 pieces of them. And then there's Power Step, One Step Changes. And again, there's another 1,400 pieces of them. And they've even got the dates that they logged in. And everything no full details yet as to what the figures are uh, what the characters are but there there you go in in the us already there's loads of them that have started to land up right this is pretty good actually to be fair and i'm just going to gloss over it as much as i can because i can't do this any justice until you have a look at this yourself it's amazing so if you like dlx 30 if you like their figures they have just gone huge today with announcements they've gone for loads a couple of the figures are out already a couple of the figures are coming out soon they've teased so many so these of course are just beautifully detailed action figures they're non transforming they just look stunning so there's a couple here that you've probably seen already there's your bumblebee and there is of course your optimus prime uh, that's the g1 optimus prime and they're saying that this is going to be shipping as of in this month so hopefully some people should be getting them already so these are your MDLX figures. I've got a couple of pictures of them here again. Optimus Prime looking absolutely brilliant. Um, there's so many more pictures of this guy as well, as I say, showing all the articulation off, etc., and things like that. Then there's some teasers to the DLX premium range. So there's going to be another Optimus Prime and there's going to be a Megatron. Then if we're moving over, we've got some more, I suppose, stock images, in-hand images of the first two I just mentioned. And then here we go. So I've got a full list here ready to read you guys out. So this again, this is the teaser for let's go. Although there's two teasers actually. There's Megatron and there's a hot rod. There's a hot rod teaser as well. These are just the pictures. There's nothing else. Um, there's a huge, huge write up. This is looking stunning. So this is Jetfire and this is DLX. And the best thing about this is. Uh, not only is it just so detailed and just incredibly intricate, it is going to combine with Revenge of the Fall and Optimus Prime. Apparently, it's going to be quite detailed. There's going to literally be a video instructing on what parts to take off and where to attach them. Look at that. That looks stunning. Again, whether you like the movies or not, um, I think that bit, you know, where he 
pulls up the jet fire parts and combines with him is just phenomenal it's so so good have i got any more pictures of that not that one there again there's so many i can't wait to see that in hand a couple more just to show you um, and then again there's some images of a figure that we know is coming out as well this is their version of the last night optimus prime and they're saying that this is going to be ready to ship um in the fourth quarter of this year and again movie accurate looks absolutely beautiful there's a teaser of rc as well to be honest so they're teasing these figures these are going to be dlx i think let me get me list here we go there's a full list here this is from tformers.com this is the figures that they're going to be releasing um and as you as i've said this is all over the internet so all they've done it for a teaser unfortunately they've just took some screenshots of like how i've done screenshots of some movie scenes so we're going to get megatron we're going to get shockwave and we're going to get lockdown and there again is your complete list of everything that they are teasing at this particular moment right now this is the thing that i think goes under the radar to be fair obviously we were well aware of fans first tuesday last week which was again brilliant but what they do is another thing and it's called round table and again it's just to sit down with them and but what they do is they answer a few questions as well but the best thing about this is some of the produce sorry some of the market not the marketers the producers the the um, designers that's the words i'm after have the figures in hand so here is in hand i've got some images of this titan class metroplex that seems to be completely completely dividing everybody's opinion at the moment but i think from these pictures here you can get a true idea of just the absolute scale size of him so he is looking huge there's a couple of pictures um that i've got of him in his alternate mode sorry that i didn't take because you just couldn't really see it but i mean look at his accessory there that it just looks huge you can actually find this you can find the full interview again and watch these um it's called round tables it's called the hasbro fans first reaction like round table so you can find it on the internet find it on hasbro themselves again on social media um we've got mark here as well who's got his menasaur in hand again um and this is interesting because this is if you have a look at that carefully um, again, I've still not seen any of these figures in hand, but I can tell that that's pretty much all of Wave One's figures, is weapons rather, isn't it? And that's the gimmick that they're going to be going with. That's the main gimmick that they're going with these legacy figures that you can combine all of the um, weapons together. So as I say, they do do questions and answers, um, and I've just took a couple of them from there. Again, you can check all this out. I don't want to be just reading loads of things off for you, but I've took a couple of the main questions here because I think these are really interesting. I want to share it with you. So combiner releases. Lots of people are saying, you know, why they spread out and all that sort of stuff. And they're saying that they have to spread them out because they're partials of other figures. Um, and of course, I think one of the main reasons I was saying to somebody on my Instagram the other day that it just it makes sense because not everybody can just go out and buy these figures all the time. So if they spread them out over different waves, we've all got a chance to save and get them. But the best thing about this is what they've said is they won't they won't or they will not rule out doing a multi pack at later date. So I suppose a bit like the Unite. So for the Combiner Wars figures, they did. Um, yeah united figures which was the big box sets all like you know imagine going back to the old school g1 getting them all in a great big gift set so they're not going to rule that out i think that's amazing one other thing that i'm going to mention as well because funnily enough i've just done my jet fire thrilling 30 video and allegedly some people are having problems already with their thrilling 30 uh, not thrilling 30 then new the siege jet fire figure so they were asked their live about fading plastic and they've got hasbro's gotten questions about this issue with fading so they're obviously fully aware of it they must be getting bombarded at the moment they've put they've not been able to do on-site inspections of the production due to the pandemic so this was obviously when they were making them all they are working to find the issue and deal with uv resistance they do testing on all products but new vendors can have issues with meeting requirements so that's interesting that they are fully aware of it and hopefully reassuring for us in the future that you know these are going to be looked at and fixed um, just a couple more things weaponizers are not going away they just went into a big wormhole and they could appear at any time and then i think we all knew this anyway but obviously there's going to be a new five-part comics book series excuse me with them um, shattered glass that is equivalent the exclusives to pulse because obviously that's where you get them from so it looks like they're going to do another five figures so we already know we've got uh ultra magnus or skull magnus shall we say pretty sure blaster is going to be one of the others um but again it's quite interesting hasbro roundtable have a check of it have a check out of it you can see what they've got going on there so with regards to this channel huge huge thank you guys i hit 3400 subscribers um yesterday at some point so it's, it's i've got this feeling that it's sort of bubbling now and it's just a, a really nice of 
a, a supposed position to be in. I want to thank you guys. And I know everybody says it, but I do totally mean it. I, I'm genuinely lucky that I really enjoy every video that I do and putting things together, even if it is primitive with a notepad and an iPad, I still enjoy doing it. Um, so coming up on the channel, um, I'm going to be doing Fall of Cybertron Air Raid. Um, I've got him out ready. Um, I'm going to be doing another movie figure. So this is movie jazz, but this is the final battle one. Um, I'm going to be doing um, the other Dino King bot that I've had come in little, in little phases because I've got a special unboxing for tomorrow morning. Um, so that's pretty much ready to go now. And then another video that I've ended up doing, or I'm going to be doing, I've got the I've got another Japanese guidebook that's going to be going live tonight at some point. But funnily enough, someone asked a question about this in the uh, stacks video and if it was a figure it's not a figure it's just another little guidebook so um i think i'll be doing a video on that as well but there you go guys um again thank you very much for watching keep your ideas suggestions anything you want to ask coming forward and again thank you very much for watching take care thanks for watching like and comment and don't forget to subscribe